In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways of cropping your videos right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got a brand new sequence created and you've got some footage on your timeline. We can first begin with the first method of cropping your video. So we'll select the video, we'll go to effects and we'll search for crop. That should be in the transform tab. And if it's not, then you can just go ahead and just search for crop and it should be there. But once you've found crop, drop that on to your video. Now that should load the crop effect in the video effects window up on the top left of Premiere. And inside of this, we've got left, top, right, and bottom. So if we increase the value of the left crop, then the video is going to crop from the left. If we increase the top, it's going to crop from the top. If we increase from the right, it's going to crop from the right and the bottom is going to increase from the bottom. So that's all pretty self-explanatory. You just increase the values of each side of the video and it's going to crop that one side. Now, what if you wanted to add some animation to the crop? So you wanted it to start on a widescreen and crop to half screen. We'll pull the cursor back to the very beginning. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the left. So we'll press the stopwatch icon or the toggle animation button. We'll move a few seconds to the right and then we'll increase this value. So let's go to 50%, roughly halfway. And if we play this back, we've got this animating crop effect happening on our video. So there you go. The crop plugin is the easiest way of doing the crop, but there is another way. And this is going to give you a little bit more precision editing. So we'll delete crop and we'll go up to opacity. Now in opacity, we've got this circle, this rectangle, and this pen tool. The pen tool is the free draw bezier. And that's what we're going to use for the crop here instead of using the crop plugin. So I'm just going to select fit. We're going to zoom out to 50% and we'll go to this pen tool here. Now with that pen tool selected, I'm just going to draw a rectangle around the outside of our video. So we've got this rectangle just on the outside of our video monitor. And then I'm going to create a brand new keyframe by selecting the stopwatch on mask path. Now we'll go a few seconds to the right. We'll select mask one and then we'll grab this point on the bottom left and we'll pull that all the way up. We'll grab the point on the bottom right. We'll pull that all the way up. And now when we play this back, we've got this animated cropping effect happening. Now, the reason why I prefer to use this method over the original crop method is because this gives you more options and more creative freedom. So if we hover over one of these blue outlines, you can see we get this pen tool load back up again. So if we create a point there and then pull this point down to the middle, you can see we've got this dip in the middle of the video. And by using this tool here, we can basically straighten up that edge. So we have a harsh edge, or if we increase the size of that, then we can have a nice curved edge to the crop. So this means rather than having harsh 90 degree angles to our crop, like the crop tool would give us, we can now basically use this pen tool to create a really interesting crop. And there you go. That is how you crop your videos inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.